two major issues do you see facing the city council in the next two years? Well, the two issues that I think are most important for everybody in this city, and especially District 6, is the renovation and completion of a new wastewater treatment plant, and that goes hand in hand with passing SPLOS. It's very important for you to understand that we don't have a choice. We have to build a new wastewater treatment plant. We have to work hard on building a system, an infrastructure system in the city of Valdosta that it has aged uh, over the, uh, seems like 40 years over the last five years. Uh, we've had flooding, we've had some bad storms that have done nothing but damage our infrastructure. Those are the most important items that we have to work towards is getting the infrastructure rebuilt in the city, not only in District 6, but all over the city. And to do that, uh, we have to have the funding. And the funding is going to have to come <coughs> from SPLOS. Uh, we, need the, we need you to vote for SPLOS and vote yes for SPLOS. Uh, it's a fair, it's a good tax. There are those, and one of my worthy opponents is, is, is adamantly against SPLOS. And he and I could sit here and debate this all day. And I guarantee you I'm right, and he'll guarantee you he's right. Uh, but the most important thing is that we are here to serve the citizens of the city of Valdosta. And to do that, we have to have the funding, and SPLOS is the way to go. Uh, Mr. Miller, your rebuttal. I, I agree that the, the, water, the sewage treatment plant and the, the uh, horse main that has to supply that plant are, are one of the primary. Uh, hopefully the supplies will pass uh, than yesterday and I'm looking for I feel like the you know the issue that's going to concern us most is what's going to happen if SPLOS doesn't pass. How are we going to pay for the, the because it's mandated that it has to be done. I believe that's correct. Uh, if uh, if we have a failure on the supplies, then I think that what's going to happen is our property taxes are going to go to the maximum. Uh, I've seen a lot of these signs around that say, give yourself a raise, but no on supplies. Well, let me tell you if, you, if you don't, if you don't vote for supplies, uh, you will not be giving yourself a raise because property taxes will go to the maximum. Not only that, but that's still not going to be enough funding to pay for this project. So there's still going to be another tax probably implemented on top of that because the money's got to be the money's going to be loaned to the county and the city and it's going to have to be paid back. So I, I do think that's a major issue. Another thing that I would like to work on is uh, is permeable paving. Uh, I believe that all government projects ought to be forced to use permeable <coughs> paving so that we have less stormwater runoff. Uh, the, the paved areas contribute to flooding. Uh, I think there ought to be incentives offered to, to use permanent paving on uh, private development. Uh, Mr. Wheeler, can I give you guys any options? I don't see a uh, donation button on the city website saying donate to the new uh, wastewater treatment plant. You can still make cuts. We don't need Memphis City Auditorium. Shut it down. It's $230,000 a year loss. It's not bringing in the revenues to cover it. Uh, there's a job opening position for a meter here in the uh, city of Boston. Have one of the councilmen do it. Save $20,000 a year. Have them take turns. Uh, I see a lot of waste of fuel in the city. I see a lot of waste of paper. Mm -hmm. We can go digital with a lot of things. Don't count on this mysterious tax payer who's going to come in and rescue you and save you from, <coughs> from all your responsibilities. It's not going to happen. He will fight back. He will go somewhere else. 